Hello there, person! Let's check out what's new making the game Wraith Binder, huh? Some mighty new stuff. Working on the ship world here. So this is going to be like a hub world where you're, um, when you create a multiplayer character in the game Wraith Binder, you'll uh, start off with um, basically aboard a ship here. And uh, this ship allows you to connect to other uh, game modes. So you'll be able to like go to PvP arenas and play play against other players. Uh, you also go to the training worlds where you can train. I'm thinking that'll be some kind of you know uh, sequence of uh, you know some make it fun somehow and connect it with the world. Maybe it'll be a sequence of missions. Um, so this is the ship world, and uh, there's a few new things here that uh, um, that are making this. Uh, very significantly improved over uh, previous versions of Wraithbinder. Um, the biggest thing here is we have, a, well, two big things here are we really have an improved uh, perception of depth now. So as I walk deeper, as I walk around, um, you can see that there's, like right here, we can see that there's clearly a lip. There's clearly some stairs right here that the player is, or there's a difference between the Z depths. Um, where right beneath the player's feet there's you can see that there's some stairs where i mean this camera angle you can tell that there's stairs of course right there's stairs right here um but at this camera angle the only thing that's helping us is this new uh blur shader so there's a blur shader where it's it basically computes an entire mask for the entire screen and sets the z depth for every one of those it's basically just creating a z a depth buffer and then it goes and uses that depth buffer um, in uh, the shader to render um, certain blur. It blurs out things that are far away and darkens things that are far away. So it makes it easier to tell what's near you and what's farther away. Um, and the other big thing is that we've got this silhouette. So as you get obscured by other um, objects, you still have a silhouette on the screen. It kind of helps you know where the heck you are. So those are two big things that really help you um, to connect with the world in a 3D. You can tell what's going on in the 3D world a little bit better, especially when you're rotating the camera. Uh, this game allows you to rotate the camera at 45 degree um, angles. So um, it's really important to have some sort of uh, Im improved depth perception going on. So that's, that's what that's all about. So back to the ship here, um, we can go up to this helm and use it to uh, basically what this will eventually be is some kind of visual sequence which will uh, like some stars going by like you you warp to these different places like warp to different planets to go to training battle or whatever so but I can for now the mechanics are working so that I can just uh, take the player to the uh, PvP arena and start some battle or start a team battle or start training so uh, that's what the helm does and uh, so then you go here and you play a match, you play versus some other players, right? Um, get your battle on, and at the end of the battle, I'll skip here, skip to the end of this battle here really quick. Uh, it allows you basically to, you know, look at the, your end of match stats, upgrade your character. There's the stats, and then here's where you would upgrade your character if you earn any light points. And uh, when you're done, well, I guess I gotta spend all my light points. I have a ton of light points, huh? <laughs> this character is just. I've fought so many debug battles that uh, I just have tons of light points built up. Well, I, I can't sit here forever. But basically the point is, after this menu, it, would t it takes you back to the ship where it's your hub world and you can upgrade your character and all that. Or uh, you can buy items too. So there's not, I don't have the forge working yet, but this will be where your, your ship has a forge too. So you'll be able to go to your forge and spend um, spend credits and experience and things like that to build different items. So you'll start off basically with a, a, um, a bear character and you'll be able to add a cloak and different armors and different we buy different weapons and uh, perhaps even gain different abilities and things like that here from your forge. Or maybe, maybe some of the things will be missions, like you have to go on a certain mission to earn the axe. 
item or something like that. So there'll, there'll be a lot of fun involved in a in sort of like a single player ish progression going on here where you can find different items and upgrade your character. Uh, but a lot of the game's focus is really going to be on these PvP battles. Um, so, but the point is uh, that you've got this now, this connected hub world where all these things are can happen. Um, so I'm very excited about this. This is pretty cool. What's next on the list here? You can tell that the graphics aren't really finished at all. They, there's the bottom of these uh, of this ship here shouldn't look like it's just extending down into the void there. It really needs to have you know the end of the ship a certain a hull. So um, you can see these stairs actually have a little bit of hull um, in them, and I'm I've got uh, that sort of started. Let's see when I got three magic voxels open here all the time now. Oh, there we go. So this is part of a hull, right? So the bottom of the ship will look something like this and in each one and and there'll be lots of these different hull shapes and they'll be worked together to create an overall uh, ship hull. So that's one of the next things to do is to get the ship to look really cool, make it look like it's an actual floating space pirate ship. Uh, the lore behind this is that basically you're you're on this ship aboard this ship right it looks like a pirate ship but it has a force field above it so that you can go out into space right so I'm thinking that maybe there'll be some kind of um, glowing force field effect going on in the background or something like that just to show that maybe not who the heck knows uh, we'll see so um, and then there's some other things too like uh, I really need to work on the uh, the height um, height gradient. The ter it's called the terrain height, um, and you can see that when I'm when I stand, there's a there's a little block here. You can you can tell that there's a little uh, extended block going on. It's 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 raised above the floor by four voxels or so right here where the the player is currently standing. Uh, but as I walk a little bit to the left or the right of it, he falls off of it way too quick. Like there's something going on with my height. My terrain map, so I got to fix that terrain map so that the player is always standing on top of this block all the time when he's near this, so he doesn't fall off of it too soon. That's another thing. Um, and I want to add some more ornamentation to the ship. I want to add some really big gargoyles or something like that. I'll, I'll, oh, that's what I'm talking about. Is the is the uh, um, the bowsprit? There's going to be a really cool bowsprit and maybe like a you know something really neat like a giant demon or angel or something on the front there so let's make it look super cool and some more just more or, more ornamentation I'm thinking ropes too like some just you know we gotta have ropes on a ship ropes coiled up on the walls stuff like that uh, and then also getting in the characters so you will be able to kinda interact with these characters too maybe these characters talk Maybe they move around a little bit. Maybe you can edit their their um, their stats too. Uh, so I don't know. We'll see how that goes. Uh, all this is kind of just bringing this area to life and making it really integrated and making it look cool. Um, you can also see this uh, when it, the ship changes color based on your your player's color. So if I change to a different color here, I think this is pink or red red so yeah I'm red and now my ships red too and the background changes a little bit too to match to complement those colors so there you have it oh oh gosh there's one more cool thing too I finally re-enabled the levitation ability uh, I've had this ability for a long time but it was always something you never really got because you had to build an advanced building. You had to get your Skybot powered up to level 3 and then build this special building. Nobody ever built it. I never built it myself. Uh, I don't think I ever built it once in any of the matches I ever played. So I just re-enabled the levitation ability. So it's a choice. You either get the blink, the boots, or the levitate. They're all speed abilities. Uh, but so fun to be able to have this ability to jump around love that that's I'm gonna I'm gonna work on that some and make that really really fun and I might even add some kind of basic jump ability too so that your player can always just jump a little bit I don't know that sounds fun so anyways lots lots been worked on and lots more to come so thanks for watching this video and uh, we'll catch you on the next one